Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body and Twin Flames Merge. Why? Because Twin Flames have merged and they have a Twin Flame Body. So today in this video, what I want to talk to you about is as we go forward here, um, some of the things that you need to know, some of the things that you're going through and why. Because I know the body like nobody else does. I have diagrams. I have all kinds of stuff. But it's time because it's time to really um, learn a little bit because you're going to be feeling it. So the first thing to know is at the beginning of this year, I had talked to you about be selfish. Okay. It's taking almost till the end of the year for some people to say, I will focus on myself. I'm not going to focus on that outer person or is that uh, what I should focus on? Maybe I need to focus on me. And that's always a good thing because there is going to be a lot of confusion in the air. There's a lot of doubt. It is stressing people. It's making people anxious. And so, uh, there's a lot of people feeling stagnant. And I don't want you to have to do things out of desperation. You don't want to have to just go with anybody just because you're desperate or you're looking around and saying, why is everyone else doing this and what about me? That's not really the way to do it, although some of those knee-jerk reactions are still in place for a lot of us folks, okay? I admit that I do have that from time to time. I've had some real fits of anger uh, along this journey over the past year. In many ways, I think a lot of us will be um, kind of glad when this year is over. But let me talk to you about what's coming up, where you're at, why, what kind of help do I have? Because it's really high level help. And it is so easy. It's so easy. I mean, people just, I, I'm just all about getting people to feel better. I learned about this years ago, but I also know that I've been a healer in other lives. And that's significant because people that are healers have to go through being the healed healer. And I have. And I've reconnected and I've made my higher foothold. That's not something everybody has done, nor is everybody sober. Some people like to get, you know, some other stuff going and then they'll, you know, start looking at stuff. So how accurate is that? So I like you to be as crystal clear as possible as um, getting your own clarity for your life because your etheric body and your astral body are pulling away from the collective. That's a part of it. So I wrote down some stuff. The reason I have the board is so that I stay on track because I could talk for hours, but I can't. So the white body you once had is no more. You're pulling out. You're pulling out of other levels. You're pulling out of other timelines. You're getting pushed. You're getting squeezed. You're getting squished. And that has happened at several cycles along the way. For a lot of people, this is um, sort of leaving them at a sense of like, well, what's going on? Uh, everything's sort of flattened out. Are you in the doldrums? Are you feeling some kind of mild depression? Are you feeling not quite depressed, but you feel this flattened out, um, blah, you know, I, I don't know what to do, stagnant energy. Are you feeling stressed on top of it? Are there other factors in your life stressing you? Everything is significant. And I want to tell you this because the belief systems need to fall away from people's heads. Things where people say, um, is this a twin flame thing or isn't it a twin flame thing? It is all a twin flame thing because this is what you are doing. You are integrating a brand new twin flame body. There's a brand new template and that's what confuses people because people go, yay, there's a new template. But then when it comes to getting rid of all the old stuff, that's what throws people off and they say, this can't possibly be love, can it? Well, what does love do? Love doesn't want you to carry around your baggage. Are you taking baggage into another thing, into a whole new level? Are you taking chaos? Are you taking disruption? Are you taking interference? No, hell no. Hell no is what I say. 
Are you feeling slightly ill? That means your chakras are clogged. Why? Because you are in a contraction. Your entire electric side is pulling you in, and it's been doing that over the past year. So for some people, this is not only your culmination life, this is the culmination. And extending karma is not something you have to do. And I don't recommend it because, you know, that karma is like whatever has been on your plate, your baggage, your garbage, and you're not here to support it anymore. You're here to bring you back to you. You're here to receive yourself back to yourself. You're here to get anything back that someone, some part of you, somebody took from you or your other half. All twin flames run parallel lives. You will find that after you're able to compare notes that you are actually having very similar experiences in this life. And even this life will wind up feeling like a past life. So what does this do? Well, this causes people anxiety. It affects the nerves. And it can feel like all types of stress. Family stress, financial stress, parental stress, child stress, stress from the collective, um, job stress, all kinds of stressors. Stress and stressors, triggers, things that you've gone through and you've gone through and you've gone through and you've gone through because your ascension is actually, it's more similar to something like this. Let me draw this out. Okay. You go up, you loop back a little bit, you revisit, you plunge. And you go back again. These things go in spirals and cycles. And there's more coming up for next year. So if you haven't started, please, I, I uh, behoove you to please get started on what you're really here for. Because when you focus on you and you focus on integration, this is what will actually bring to you what it is that you're really here for. You're here to break apart, break down, dismantle, put it back together again. That's a lot. And which is why it does not happen all at the same time. You, your other half, would have a nervous breakdown. Society would have even more of a breakdown than what we see. So let me give you a little um, diagram. I'm working on I'm working on some better graphics, but if anyone knows that, uh, let me know. Okay, so this is what a lot of people are accustomed to seeing: a chart of the chakras, and you've got you know seven chakras. What do they do? But here's what's happening: people are pulling out. This goes from under the foot especially the left one, you're clearing in, whoops, you're clearing in this area, the middle, and you're clearing around the head, okay? So you are clearing your body here. What goes with that? Moods, emotion, these kind of moods, stress, stagnation, feeling ill, digestion, reproductive, not just on women, men too. Men go through things also. It's a misconcept that somehow men are not going through it. In fact, men tend to have a lot of the worst things. They're not going out and reporting it and saying, I've had this terrible nightmare, but they do. Okay, so what happens as you're pulling yourself back in? These areas clog up and they are essentially causing a traffic jam. What are the chakras? The chakras are the, the um, definition of it. It's an ancient Sanskrit word. So it comes from ancient India, where, yes, twin flames lived in ancient India. It means energy wheel. 
So it, it works like a transformer does. Anybody ever play with toy trains when you were a kid? How did you make the train go faster? You dialed up the transformer. How did you slow it down? You dialed it down. This is what your chakras do. Okay, so they're receiving in and they're vibrating or spinning at a certain uh, rate. So for, for some of the larger organs, that's slower. For a smaller organ, like the pituitary gland, it's going to be a lot higher vibration. Hence, headaches, um, feeling dizzy, etc. Feeling queasy, that goes back down here. So you see there's a correlation between these two areas. Not only that, there is a lot of history in there. Because there's the ancestral things, there's your childhoods, not just this childhood. Childhoods going way back. Inner child. Not just for you, but you and the one you love. You see how this can seem like so amplified. So let me show you on my other chart here. Okay. And some of you who know me know I'm not the best artist in the world. But I want to try and illustrate this to you. Okay, so you remember we had the person here, okay? And one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven are what sometimes people become familiar with. Twin flames, I got news for you, you've got more. You've got ones way up here. You've got ones that go down to here. Oops. That go down, you know, right there. Right below. Now, are you unplugging from the old levels or do you keep plugging in? That's a big question to ask yourself. Because all of the energy needs to get where it needs to be. It can't be out here where you lived and died and created families with other people. It needs to come back to you too. So, the direction of this is that your spinal cord, your central nervous system, your spinal cord right along your back, this has your cosmic level connections. But for a lot of people, these have been ties that bind. This is why it's hard to discern who is who. Have they been with you in an earth past life or in a different past life? Is it a different level? If it's a different level, it usually feels like a higher energy. It can feel very survivalistic. It can feel desperate like life or death. And these are the things that I help people with because we don't need to run around like chicken little, like the sky is falling, and that there's not a plan. There is a plan. What about when we get up into this area, okay? And you have a small little organ like the pituitary inside, and yet... This can be so much that's based on what have you experienced? What has your other half experienced? What are the emotions that go with it? What are the moods? What if you've been killed or burnt or you've been um, gassed or you've somehow, you know, died? A lot of people will be able to say to you, hey, well, you know what happened to you in a past life? You were burnt. Somehow, you either suffered burns, you died in a fire, or people ran you out of town and decided to burn you. Well, here's where I take that one step further. Because your resulting emotions and moods, if those stay in your organs, if it builds up over here, guess what happens? Digestive and reproductive issues. Respiratory issues. You feel that you can't breathe, your lungs are on fire. You feel like you're squeezed. What if you've drowned? You can feel like there's water up to here and people are standing on your shoulders trying to get their own fresh air and not letting you breathe. So let's get real about this and know that you are having to participate in getting some of this clear for yourself and that there are things that you should be doing, that you can do, 
And a lot of it is very simple. I have broken it down um, where I do talk about things. I have definitions about things like this, okay, your chakras, because there's more than seven. Most twin flame couples, you have a minimum of 15 to 20, okay, right off the bat. Okay, some of the other connections are actually two levels. And some of you have not started on that. That doesn't mean something you're doing wrong. It means you're going to embark on it. So yes, there is more coming up. And I'm here to help you with the body that not only gets you together, keeps you together, keeps you glued together, keeps you having fun and romance and adventure with each other. So to that, I do have um, my book called Twin Flame Ascension Inner Healing. This is very helpful. My books are the books that teach you about the sacred level of getting the body that actually brings you to a level of being a sacred sexual being again. Not just down here, okay? Not just fueling someone else's relationship. No more triangles or love triangles or someone siphoning off your energy. People can begin to feel that they are being siphoned. And you don't need someone else to tell you, oh, so-and-so is an energy vampire. Do something about it. Come to me. Let me help you with that. So you have several things. I have my book, The Inner Healing. I have an intuitive ascension session. The links are below. And I also have an online webinar class, which is called Love for the Holidays. Around this time of year, a lot of people will feel joyful, they'll have get-togethers, and sometimes they just have a feeling of overwhelm. They're overwhelmed, there's too much, there's too much food. Do you know that in my book, okay, I do recommend that you do an intermittent fasting before you have a holiday party. I teach you in here how to do some of that. There are instructions in here to help you ease up and have a good time, have a nice time, have a time that's not uncomfortable or stressful. What is another thing? On my store, I do have, um, I recommend this herb, Powderco. Um, Powderco, I call it the keep people away herb. Okay, if there's unwanted energies, what does that help with? It helps you with emotional connections, okay? My ways are twin flame ways. They are not relationship coaching ways where you go tell people off or you have an argument or you stew about it or you let it fester in your stomach. My ways are to teach you to be the goddess and God that you are. Be the goddess who is able to say, I wash that away, I wipe it away. And by the way, no, you cannot just hold this and get the energy from it. You actually have to ingest it. And I would say that people who are saying that, they're just wrong. They're just wrong. There's some wrong information. There's erroneous misinformation. You're, the tissues of your physical body need the support. Otherwise, they wear out, they get fatigued, they continue aging. I like to call those things building blocks because as you're coming up to the end of like, if you believe this is your last karmic life, your culmination life, then act and behave like it. Okay. Put an end to certain things. Get your body up and running. Let the tissues of your physical body function properly. That is why we are doing this. Because you're not supposed to be with someone and be in funky moods and emotions. Or, you know, there is love healing. You cannot heal things from down here. Nobody has the body part big enough to be able to knock that out. You have to engage your light body and you have to know from someone who knows how to do it and help you with it. Okay, so... This is, um, these are some of the things that when you have, for example, your spinal cord, your central nervous system, the what gets on your nerves, who gets on your nerves, 
put in the building blocks that will help you. Twin flame people are the people who've been awakened first. Okay, so you have people that come in from astrology, numerology, Vedic astrology, the occult, Wicca, okay, but who has been the first ones to awaken? It's twin flame people. Twin flame people are the ones who have to start pulling this in. You are the ones who are here to make this love tangible, touchable, and kissable. So if you are um, feeling yourself in a funk, in a mood, um, you're feeling some of the things that just don't feel right to you, you don't feel like yourself, come to me, let me help you. I do give you some homework because like I say, that is a part of this. You have to be empowered. I'm all about empowering you. I'm not sitting on this information, but by the way, it does need to get out. So I am also looking for support because that helps me to format and that helps me to get information to people where it's needed. There's a lot of people that could really use um, the help. Um, there's a lot of you who are watching who are like, you know, not sure what's going on. I know exactly what it is. I know what um, the, I am the metaphysician who has a physician's lean because I have studied a lot of biology. So I know this, not only that, I'm the test pilot. My body is the test pilot. I have healed my thyroid. I've healed my eye, I have healed my liver enzymes, I've healed my lactose intolerance, my gluten uh, insufficiency uh, sensitivities, I have healed PCOS, I have gotten rid of a lot of really nightmare stuff from past lives, I know what it's about, and there are people that suffer from things. When I touch people, I can see what it is. I can see the past lives. And this is what I call it. You have a traffic jam and your body had its last straw. That's the last straw. And you decided to take up on the invitation to come to earth and start integrating your brand new light body. It's going to be continuing. So please um, let me help you join Join and participate. If Even if you're getting lost in some of this, you will find it refreshing to hear some things that are actually truthful, that actually do encourage you with inner knowing that you're supposed to be with your true love. You knew it. Some of you knew it as a child. So thanks so much for watching. The links are below. Reach out to me with any questions, and um, I'm at TwinFlamesMerge.com. I do this full-time, and yes, I do need you to take that seriously. Thank you. Bye.